this is akash and today we'll study about kinematic pairs so what is kinematic pairs we we already studied about pairs of joint in my last video as we know any connection between two links is always known as joint or pair but for those pair to be kinematic we have one condition that the relative motion between those link must be a constant motion or we can say those pair in which constant motion is there are only term as kinematic pairs so kinematic pairs are classified in three different ways first of all first classification is according to the type of relative motion between the links or between the those bodies first of all in this classification we have is turning pair body 1 connected with body 2 with a pin this this is this forms a turning pair now relating motion between these two links is pure turning sometimes it is also termed as revolute pair also second one in this category we have sliding pair relating motion between two links is pure sliding then it forms a sliding pair for example in piston cylinder arrangement piston have pure sliding motion with respect to cylinder so sometimes this sliding pair is also known as prismatic pair after that in this category we have rolling pair when relative motion between two link is pure rolling then it forms a rolling pair pure rolling is very important to be understand actually pure rolling means rolling without sliding in my upcoming videos we will understand more about pure rolling when we will study about gears there we will understand more for now this is sufficient information that pure rolling is always termed as rolling without sliding oh sorry rolling without slipping pure rolling is always termed as rolling without slipping there is a difference between slipping and sliding which we will study in those videos when we will study about gears let us consider one example for better understanding consider this to be ground which is link 1 and this is a link 2 and this link 2 is rolling over the ground remember here I am referring to pure rolling so in this figure a ball is rolling over the ground here we see two motion that's pure rolling and translational motion translational motion and pure rolling but still it is a kinematic pair because this translational motion or we can say this uh, linear motion is dependent on is a, is a, actually it is a dependent motion this motion is dependent on this rolling motion this pure rolling
सो हेयर वी हैव ओनली वन इंडिपेंडेंट मोशन दैट्स रोटेशनल दैट दिस रोटेशनल मोशन ऑफ लिंक टू सो दिस फॉर्म्स अ रोल रोलिंग प्लेयर we'll understand this with one more example that is a ball bearing consider this to be outer rays of bearing this will be our inner rays and these are the balls of the bearing inner rays is our link 1 outer rays is our link 2 these bones are our link 3 now link 1 or inner rays is in pure rolling pair with the link 3 or bones and link 3 and link 2 forms a rolling pair so link 2 is our outer rays but if we consider this link 1 and link 2 then here in this example in this example of bearing link 1 and link 2 makes a turning pair now moving on to next we have screw pair when relative motion between bodies is over the threads then it forms a screw pair nut and bolt is the best example of this pair suppose this is the thread of the bolt and we have nut to be body 1 and bolt is body 2 when this nut will move over this these threads then it forms a screw pair now after this screw pair we have spherical pair when a relative motion between two links is a 3d motion then it forms a spherical pair like in cars in the in the side mirror of the car we use a spherical pair is something like that this is our body 1 and this is our body 2 we have seen side mirror in cars which are adjustable with these knobs and it form it moves in three dimensions so this is the best example of spherical pair moving on to next classification of kinematic pairs kinematic pairs are also classify according to the type of contact in this first one we have lower pair when link when there is a surface contact between two links surface contact then it forms a lower pair and we have higher pair whenever there is a point contact or a line contact between two links then it forms a higher pair pin joint is a good example of lower pair because hold the surface of the pin is rubbing against link 1 and link 2 whenever the both of the links are in motion and for higher pair also uh, piston cylinder arrangement is also a good example of lower pair because in this surface of the whole the outer surface of the piston rub against cylinder during relative motion so it is a surface contact so it is a good it is also a good example of lower pair now for higher pair 
we have we know we have point or line contact so cam and follower is a good example of this higher pair let us consider a fixed link link 1 link 2 to be follower which is reciprocating and this is our eccentric cam which is rotating around a fixed link this is our link 3 now here we have point contact this forms a higher pair here in this same example this follower is reciprocating or sliding against this fixed link so this will form a lower pair here this is higher pair point contact surface contact lower pair now to eliminate this one higher pair we can use two, two lower pair like in the same example of cam and follower we will use a connecting road this is our cam revolving around a fixed link one link one is our fixed link this is our second this road is third body and this cam is fourth link now this and this forms a lower pair to eliminate one higher pair we use two lower pairs this is also this sliding contact is also lower pair so this is the explanation of kinematic pair which is categorized according to the type of contact so both of these examples are forms a same mechanism but only difference is we here we have one higher pair and we required two lower pair to eliminate one higher pair so from here we can conclude that one higher pair is always equivalent to two lower pair so moving on to next category of classification of kinematic pair we classify kinematic pair according to the type of closure in this category we have self closed pair or we can say it closed pair the permanent contact between two links form a self-closed pair for example turning pair is a good example of this self-closed pair and rolling pair is also a good example sliding pair is also a good example of self-closed pair all in this pair we have permanent contact between two links next one we have here is forced closed pair or open pair forced closed pair here in these pairs we have forceful contact between two links for example higher pair in cam and follower or we have door closures door closures we have automatic clutch operated system these all falls under the category of forced close pair